just answer in the chat. Um, can't hear with the music. Okay. Is it better? All right. Well, I'm going to guess it's better. If the sound isn't better, just let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll change it. Um, so I'll start over again. <laughs> uh, my name is Kate Stoltz, but I guess if you are watching me right now, you already know it. Uh, tonight is Thursday night, one more day until the weekend. I'm super excited for the weekend. Um, I'm going to get my tree early this year uh, just because usually for, I would say like the last seven years, I always went to get my tree uh, the day after Thanksgiving and the places are so full and it's very hard. Like you have to deal with traffic and everybody's getting their tree on that day. So this year I'm going early. I'm going on, wow. On Saturday. <laughs> um, I'm going on Saturday to get my tree, so I'm super excited for that. And um, I'm just excited to wind down. It's been a bit of a busy week, and uh, so I'm excited to spend a little bit of time to uh, spend a little time unwinding and enjoying, um, I don't know, a show, uh, maybe going for a hike or something. Um, but tonight I'm going to be uh, what am I going to do for, do for the holidays? Um, I'm not traveling anywhere for the holidays, but I'm planning on just kind of celebrating as I go and enjoying everything that comes along with the winter. Um, I, you know, I live in the Northeast, so it becomes really dark and gloomy and cold and uh, not that great. I don't really enjoy the winters. So every year I really try to focus on the things that I do enjoy, such as art, uh, reading books, uh, some you know shows, snowboarding, going out into the into the snow, going for walks, and you know seeing the icicles and things like that. So I really try to do that. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm doing over the holidays. Um, I'm not going to be traveling much because I, you know, everybody's traveling over the holidays, so everything's booked and you know twice as expensive. So what I like to do is I like to wait until after the holidays. Uh, to go somewhere, you know, on a quiet weekend where not a lot of people are there. So it's cheaper. And I think the experience is better too, because you don't have to deal with the holiday crowds. Uh, so that's what, you know, so I prefer to relax over the holidays and then go uh, take a break, you know, a couple a couple weeks later. Um, I'm going to get started. I'm probably not going to be talking much because I'm going to put my headphones in. Uh, I get... I get tired after a long day like this if I don't have music playing. Uh, so I'm gonna put my headphones in and work. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be talking a lot. Um, sometimes when I start painting, I, I really get into my zone and I just lose. Uh, I don't. I become very quiet because I'm so focused. I'm a pretty quiet person in reality. Like I, I'm, I'm an introvert. I spend a lot of time uh, reflecting and. listening to music and stuff like that. Just listening to my, uh, I have a playlist on Spotify where every single time I wanna start working, I wanna get into my zone, I have my playlist 
And it's basically like once, when that music starts playing, I know that I'm supposed to be working, like it's my work music. Um, and I have like energetic, you know, positive energy songs uh, with like an uplifting beat uh, to help me just get through the day. Because especially if you're a creative person, like I'm always sewing and doing things that require an ex that keep uh, that require an extensive period of time. Uh, so sometimes it gets a little, sometimes it gets a little um, mundane, and my brain just I'm just like, oh my god, I gotta get it out of my head because I can't listen to myself think for a moment longer. So I listen to podcasts or music, um, and I, I have a, a playlist that I like to listen to. Uh, What kind of music do I listen to? I listen to, right now I'm really into Post Malone. I love his, I love his music. Uh, Wrapped Around Your Finger, Hollywood is Bleeding, and Saint Tropez, and I Like You. Those are four songs. I have four songs of his on my playlist. And then I also like to go to the radio. I don't know, uh, that's what I'm listening to. Everybody has different music tastes, so you might actually hate it. Like I know some people that don't enjoy listening to his music, but I find it super uplifting and it just brings me to, it just calms me down enough so that I can, um, so I can focus. So I have a reference photo here because uh, it's good to know, it's good to have a reference photo if you don't have a live model. Um, it's very enjoyable to actually sketch uh, like in an art class or, you know, like a focus group uh, where you sit down and you're sketching the person live. Um, it's, it's really fun because, uh, you know, you can use your measuring techniques and stuff like that and it's really enjoyable. But I don't have anyone here tonight uh, to pose for me for five hours. <laughs> it's probably not going to take me 25 hours. But uh, so I printed out a beautiful picture of a model. I mean, I'm not going to try to replicate it, but I will try to um, just use her as a reference.
hand is the hardest thing to draw. It's so hard to draw a hand. I, I always get confused about the fingers and how they're supposed to drape, so. Uh. You guys see the spaceship launch? <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? I'm very fascinated by space and all the pictures that they have of the uh, from the recent telescope. Uh, there's some beautiful, beautiful images that just look like if you think of a like a classic uh, kids Disney movie and like the sparkles that they have on the princesses and stuff. It's like a fairy tale. Uh, some of the images are beautiful, so. That's really cool. I'm in, I'm very interested in you know where they're going to take it next. Like what's going to happen next in the space exploration? It's going to be fun to watch. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think we're going to live on the moon, or do you think we're going to live on Mars, or do you think this is all a crazy idea? <laughs> Have you been at the Queens? My sister lives in the Queens of New York. <laughs> um, I have been in Queens. Um, there's a beautiful, uh, I think there's a beautiful botanical garden or museum. I think that's in Queens. Um, and then I used to go up there all the time for photo shoots when I was a model. Uh, there was, you know, it would be like at a photographer's apartments or something. Um, so we would meet the uh, artists you know, at, you know, up in um, the Bronx or Queens or Brooklyn or wherever there was like a cool location. Uh, so I went all over New York um, when I was, especially like during the first three years of moving to New York City, I went all over, traveled every single subway station, uh, went to every single place. It was amazing. So yes, I've been in Queens. You listen to music again.
I like to use these uh, makeup sponges for portrait pictures because if I want to get the shading correct, sometimes the brush doesn't do it as, like, it doesn't blend it very nicely. So I found these actually, it almost works like makeup on your face, where you're like, uh, working on your face. Hey everyone, um, if you just joined, my name is Kay Stoltz and I am painting a portrait of Liz Acrylics. It's Thursday night and I had a long day at work so I decided I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna relax and enjoy uh, doing a portrait. This is what I like to do when I have a little bit of extra time. Um, I mean, I do enjoy watching movies but I, I can only do that so much. Like I'll, I'll watch a movie while I'm working out uh, that's that's when I like to watch my television, watch my shows, watch my movies. That's why I'm motivated. That way I'm motivated to work out. And if I don't do that, I just never have time to work out. Like, so I'll combine the two: my TV and my working out time during the evening. Um, I usually, I don't know if it's the healthiest thing to do to work out after you have dinner, but that's when I have time. That's when I I don't know. That's when I make time for it. So. Um, I'm like a, a night workout person. So like three nights a week, I will go to the gym and I'll spend like two hours in there just working out. Um, but yeah, then, then I would say like at least one night a week, I need like a creative time when I can, I don't know, work on, uh, work on a dress or a gown or a piece of art or something where I can just relax. So, uh, yeah, this is me Thursday night. Um, have you painted your whole life? Your paintings are really good. Thank you. Um, you know, I started, I didn't really start painting until later in life, but I spent a lot of time with pencil and charcoal and, you know, even like pencil crayons, which is a very beginner, you know, I, I spent a lot of time doing that when I was in early childhood. Um, we would do art class all the time and it was, I, you know, would, like for art, I would usually uh, draw something like a scenery and then I would color it with pencil crayons. So um, it was, 
yeah, I mean, that was like early. And then I started doing more pencil. Uh, I would say uh, early teens, later teens, I really spent a lot of time doing pencil drawings. Uh, I would sketch my family members and sketch, you know, my nieces and nephews and little babies. They would be sleeping and I would be there sketching them. Um, and I would sketch just like random things that I thought of in my head. Uh, so that was the, the medium that I used to work in. Um, painting, I didn't really get into painting until, I mean, it's still about 15 years ago. <laughs> so, you know, uh, but I never pursued it professionally. And uh, I'm just, I just decided I'm going to have fun with it. Like I'm going to, I really enjoy doing it. You know, it's winter time. I want to spend a little bit more time doing creative stuff. So uh, I just decided to have fun with it, see where it goes. If you like the paintings, they're, uh, they're in the bio. You can just follow the link and you can bid on them. Um, I set the bid prices super low. So uh, if they don't, you know, go up very high, I hope somebody ends up with them that loves it. Um, and I sign them just in case somebody wants something signed, which I don't know why anybody would want anything signed from me, but <laughs> sometimes people ask. So uh, I do it. Um, all right. I'm going to start painting again. I'm going to listen to music.
All right, I've decided what I'm gonna do. Um, I wasn't really sure what I'm, how I'm gonna take this painting, uh, which direction I was gonna go into, but I started painting in pink and I like the idea of a pink undertone under everything and then I'm gonna add some color later on. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna do like the shading of her face, uh, capture the highlights and the hollows and shade the face in, uh, kind of similar to the way that I did uh, portrait one, but then I'm planning on doing uh, like different colors on top of that, making it super bright. Um, I have a bunch of colors here. These are like the primary versions of it. So I'm gonna be mixing it up a little bit more uh, to get the shade that I like. Cause I like these colors, but I don't like them in that uh, saturation level. So I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, mix it around a little bit uh, to create something that I like. Um, uh, I see some more people have joined. Uh, if you just joined, um, I assume you know. Um, I do have a couple of paintings behind me. Um, if you're wondering what those are, those are uh, ones that I already have on my website. Um, if you enjoy watching me uh, and you want to check them out on my website, just go to the link. It's listed in the in the description box. So. I like your techniques, says Juan Souza. Thank you. I'm I'm still working and developing my technique. Uh, I'm just enjoying myself and having fun discovering. Um, you know, I, I really enjoy, like there are some things that I would do in life, even if I don't get paid, like even if I don't get, like make money from it. Um, and art is one of them. Like I just, you know, if somebody wants to buy my painting, that's awesome. It goes towards paint supplies and new um, new canvases. Those can quickly become very expensive because uh, you need a new one every single time. Um, and paint is very expensive. So uh, yeah, that's that's the idea behind getting rid of them. And I also I also don't really want to store them because I feel like I'm not going to like I don't want to just uh, kind of plaster my house with my own paintings. <laughs> um, so. What am I going to do? Store them. So I decided I'm going to just kind of pursue this a little bit more professionally um, and just, you know, it is what it is. It ha uh, if people are interested in the art, that's awesome. Hopefully, you know, I'll be displayed in the gallery one day, but <laughs> that's best case scenario. Worst case scenario, I have some fun. So I'm really trying to uh, focus on doing more stuff like that this winter because winter is coming and I'm determined to enjoy it this year. It's beautiful. It's beautiful with the snow and the icicles and sledding and snowboarding and um, you know it's just a lot of fun. Like taking a walk in the snow, like right after the fresh snow comes down, or uh, just walking out into the lake in the middle of the winter. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So um, I'm determined to enjoy it and appreciate it more this year.
you guys can probably almost see better. Well, I don't know. Can you see from the reflection? I don't know. There's a bit of a reflection shining right down the light. So um, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I have I position my easel directly under paintings so that I can have the best light possible. Um, so there might be a bit of a glare, but. All right, guys, I'm going to log out. Um, I'm going to, it's probably going to take me a couple hours to watch this. So I'm a little self-conscious <laughs> with being on YouTube live and having a back turn. Um, well, actually, if I just listen to music and do the painting, that's fine. <laughs> um, putting on my post Malone music. <laughs> I was listening to my playlist. Uh, sometimes I get tired of those songs like midway through because like the further I get in the playlist, the longer I've had them on the playlist and the more times I've listened to them. So the newer ones are always in the beginning. Uh, then like halfway through, I always get bored. So I'm like, okay, I gotta switch up the music a little bit. Probably one of the most important uh, things that I learned working with charcoal is uh, understanding the direction of the light and how it's hitting your subject. Uh, for example, this subject, all the light is coming from up here. So uh, that affects the way that the shading is done. Um, it's very easy to see on a live portrait. You notice how some, uh, some places are darker than others. So adding, for example, I'm, I'm using white on places like her nose or the top of her cheek, 
where you see it reflecting the most, you see the light reflecting the most. So there's white over here on her cheekbone right here, on her lip right there in the front, but then in the back it's dark. So um, those light variations are really important and that's why I like working off of a black and white portrait uh, rather than a color portrait. Because color portrait, you can still see the lighting, but um, the black and white por portrait just makes it like super clear. So, um, and another thing to remember, because sometimes I kind of forget to check my reference photo and I try to work on it without looking. Um, so it's also important to remember that my light is coming from up here. So anything like right here on the body, anything darker. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. <laughs> How dark to make the arms. to adjust the height I find myself uh, slouching down. It doesn't go up much higher. Uh, I guess that's why I had it down so far in the first place. All right, back in business.
One of my favorite things to do is raise my one eyebrow. I don't know if I can do it now, <laughs> um, but that's basically what I'm trying to do right here. She's just like, really? <laughs> so that's what she's doing right here. So she's like, she, this is her pose. Like this. That's her, that's her pose. She's like, really? She's raising the eyebrow. She's got attitude. Um, I feel like this one is kind of a resting bitch face, if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube. A resting bee face, I'll say. Um, I don't know. She's very sassy. I didn't realize how uh, kind of stubborn she was going to look until I was finished. Um, so I want her to be a little bit more, a little bit softer, more relaxed, but then she's also raising the eyebrow, like, what's up? Keep reminding myself to drink more water, especially now that it's winter. Sometimes I just go for like two hours without even thinking about water. So drink water. <laughs> The ear is too far forward. Ear belongs further back. One hair has a bit of a stronger jaw than this. I like this face, but I like my jaw just a little bit stronger. Like, especially when I'm drawing something, I like to exaggerate certain features. Um, trying to figure out her jaw there.
All right, I'm tuning out for tonight. Um, I'm gonna finish this probably tomorrow. So um, I will see you guys later. Have a good evening, bye.